Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay, people, this guy, James McNeil Jr., out in the state of Washington, he was one of them perfect get along, fit in with the white community type Negroes. You know, living his life, you know, had a good good life out there in Washington State. You know, a, a coconut, a real coconut, black on the outside, white on the inside. Career Becky lover, loves the white woman, you know. But this dude just destroyed his life, and he has a family. He has children. And this, just, this guy just couldn't compose himself, man. I don't know why he did this. Well, this dude, James McNeil Jr., out in uh, Bothell, Washington, or Bothell, Washington. It's a city out there in Washington. He served on a city council out there for eight years. Eight years. The white people liked him. He had a construction business out there. He started a charity as well. I believe it was for Alzheimer's. And he was even, uh, you know, doing a little thing, the kumbaya thing, bringing the community and the police together, the locals. He did the whole little BLM safe thing, you know, out there, you know, in a calm, good, safe way, you know, making sure had the had the racist white people out there with the BLM signs and honking horns. You know, you know how that was going, y'all. He's out here in one of these nice suburbs. OK, this guy, he was in with the community. He has that Bryant Gumbel look. You know, white people seem to like, you know, feel more comfortable with these guys that look like him, look like almost like a white man with a tan type look, not a light skinned black person, because, you know, a light skinned black person. They still look like a black person. But, you know, the ones like that, you know, he got that look. So he's out there moving and shaking in this community, doing what he wants to do, living his life. He has some happy looking biracial kids. He was separated from his white wife. He's coaching on all white sports team. But dude goes and gets a 20 year old girlfriend, 58. Or he's messing with a 20 year old white girl named Lilia Gavronsky. Lilia Gavronsky. So James McNeil, he met Lilia while she was working as a stripper. I guess it's a spot that he used to go to. I guess he met her. They started talking. They started dating. He was spending money with the young 20-year-old. She likes the money. He likes what he's getting, whatever. He's buying her all kinds of gifts. You know, that a 50-year-old, 58-year-old professional man could buy a 20-year-old. She's liking it. It's a trade-off. So eventually... This Lilia, she stopped working as a stripper. And James McNeil Jr. is supporting her lifestyle. And they believe that her lifestyle costs about $10,000 a month. So he has to kick out about $10,000 a month for his 20-year-old girlfriend to live. So on April 27th of this year, they broke up. They broke up after a fight over some expenses. So... They were known as a couple that had an on and off again relationship. Her parents knew about them. They would get in fights. They would be fighting on and off again. 58 years old, you still doing this mess, man. You know, she said that he was kind of mentally and emotionally abusive. He would get pissed at her about things, stop speaking to her. Then she would ignore him and he would come back with just all kinds of gifts. And, you know, Lilia, the 20-year-old white girl, she was loving it. She was a stripper. So, you know, she's willing to do things you know, and degrade herself for money in some kind of way. So she's loving these gifts. And uh, this was a common thing in their relationship, the back and forth, arguing, him getting jealous and mad and being verbally abusive, then the gifts. So during one of those arguments they were having in the month of April, it was actually between April 28th and April 30th. Don't know the exact date. They don't know yet. Uh, James McNeil, he's at Lilia Gavronsky's house. They're arguing, and they believe that he strangled her or smothered her to death. They believe that he smothered her to death. Look, he's a big man. She's a small person. And uh, what happened was James McNeil's attorney actually called 911 to report a likely homicide in Lilia Gavronsky's South Seattle home. The officers responded to this house. They found her in the bed. And they said it appeared as, as if she was deceased for some time and uh, she didn't have any injuries that would cause her to lose any blood like she wasn't stabbed or nothing like that. 
That's why they believe that he smothered her with a pillow or something like that. And now this dude, James McNeil Jr., for the love of Becky, the career love of Becky, can't contain himself, can't compose himself around a young 20-year-old. He done destroyed his whole life. Destroyed his whole life. And he has children who are coming up in sports and everything, no little biracial children and stuff like that. Straight idiot, people. You know, a lot of guys like James McNeil Jr., though, you'll find that a lot of them are really already kind of messed up in the head. These career these career Becky lovers, these career white people lovers, a lot of them have some form of mental illness, you know, anyway, like a kind of detachment where sometimes that manifests in other ways where they just straight cycles. I bet if you went to five white women from the past who knew this dude, they'll say, yeah, he was off. Yeah, he wasn't right. You know, he just, you know, just a weirdo. That's really messed up that he has these kids who depend on him. And, uh, he just went absolutely nuts with this one. She probably told him. Actually, people, they say that they have information to prove that this 20-year-old girl was trying to stay away from him, basically writing notes to herself in a journal saying things like, don't speak to him today, remember how he made you feel type stuff. You know what I mean? She was doing that type stuff. So they say that she was trying to get away from him. And... uh. He would buy these gifts, doing things that a 58-year-old professional man who owned the business can do. And he would make his way back. He was kicking out 10, 10 racks a month for her, y'all. That's what he had to pay to be with that. You know? So that's what's going down now. He's being charged with second-degree murder. He actually considered taking himself up out of here. They said they have proof that he was thinking about slitting his wrist or something like that. Whatever, man. I mean, his bond is set at $3 million. We'll see how this white community work for you now, bro. You know what I mean? We'll see, we'll see how much those white people out there in this part of Washington State think you are a great guy for taking out one of theirs. Yeah. $3 million bail, people. He's in there. Destroyed his whole life over a 20-year-old white girl. Finally, it caught up with him. What a bozo. People, get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Anyway, easy.